Mostly I am doing private and corporate events. Yeah. I do a lot of wedding work and product lunches and all sorts of other things. Yeah. I release two albums as well. Yes, I see. <laughs> And the, the the things like the product launches and and the, and the weddings is that is that getting to be a big part of your work? Do you do do you find yourself doing more and more of that? Oh yes, this month I'm doing about twenty weddings. Really? So yes, it's it's a very busy month. Yeah. So 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 you have more than one violin. So you have an electric violin that you can plug into an amplifier and you use that for for some occasions. But the concert at St Mary's, for example, that that'll be you with a classical violin. Yes, indeed. Um, I use. Two violins, they are very special to me. My classical violin is a custom-made violin. Oh, really? For me, yes. Whoa. And same is with the electric violin, yeah. is made on the schematics of my classical violin. And my classical violin is made on sch schematics of Stradivarius. So... so <laughs> good stuff. I, I, did they get made in this country? No, my classical violin was made in Poland. Yeah. Whilst my electric violin was made by actually a renowned British violin maker, Ted Brewer, the same guy who did the violin for Vanessa May. Mm. So I am playing my custom hybrid Vivo 2 electric violin. And when you play when you play the electric violin, would, would you put it straight into an amplifier or a bit like an electric guitarist will put it through a series of foot pedals and effects pedals to get different noises? Do you do that? It really... Again, it really depends what I am doing. The easiest way is just to use my amplifier that has various presets yeah. uh, that make it all sound nice. But if I am doing, let's say, some sort of bigger shows, I tend to put this through the foot pedal that gives extra Because I've been growing up in postmodern world, I found classical and popular music to be equally important for me. I started playing the violin when I was six and I was going through this very classical and very strict way. Yeah, very formal. Formal yeah. way of playing, whilst um, when I came to England, I broadened up my experiences yeah. and I explored various musical styles and I like both equally. Mm -hmm. So how, how long have you lived in the UK? I moved here five years ago, yep. but I've been traveling between Poland and England since I was 16, you see, and I made my decision to come here and study for my undergrad degree at Leeds University. Okay, but it, it, was that a musical degree? Yes, it okay. was in violin. Yeah. And then I auditioned across the whole country in various conservatoires. I got place everywhere when I auditioned, but I chose in Royal Northern College of Music from where I am graduating this year with So this year, you graduate degree. now or next year? This, this year, this, yes. You just graduated. N well, I am handing my dissertation in yeah. and I have my graduation in December. How, ex how exciting. What's your, what did you do your dissertation on? Teaching. <laughs> so t what, teaching specifically violin? Uh, teaching music yeah. in schools. Wow. So you've been doing all, all this, all the all the playing, all the all the concerts, all the, the street performing, everything else, all the weddings, all the corporate events, you've been doing that and studying at the same time? Yes, I got she to one at Leeds and I'm hoping to get to one in Manchester as well. The C D, uh, which which we have here in well we have here, we're playing <laughs> excerpts from uh, at, at the moment. Um, this is your second C D? Yes. This C D consists mostly of classical pieces are classical pieces arrangements for violin and um, it has various artists as well recorded. At the moment the CD is also available for online purchase via HMV, Amazon, iTunes, yeah. so various places people can listen and get it. <laughs> my my classic my classical interpretations is the yes. name of the CD. You've Kate, you've got one of my favourites on there. Yes. I love "Time to Say Goodbye," which I think is brilliant, absolutely brilliant tune. Thank I've never you. heard it on the violin, but I love your version. Why why that song? Why do you like that song? I like this song because that was the first song I actually went on the street and performed. Oh really? Yes, that is why I have some sort of. Uh, a bond, you got an affinity. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, I do. And 
the first time I actually did some street performing was in Guildford down south. Yeah. And that was the first song I played. And since that moment, I played this in various situations. People absolutely love it. So tell me about the, the, the show you're doing at St Mary's in a couple of weeks' time. That's, uh, that's, <coughs> are you going to include tunes like Time to Say Goodbye or are you doing, is, it, is that a very classical show you're doing that night? Well, the show is going to take two parts. There are going to be two half, two forty-five minutes half. Um, the first half is going to be strictly classical. I will be presenting some Greek and Beethoven sonatas, mm -hmm. and in the second half there will be more chilled out classical pieces from my second CD. Yeah, and. I am thinking about including time to say goodbye. Oh, do, 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 do. <laughs> Go on, you do. And, and is it you and a, and a pianist on that night? Yes, it's me and my pianist. And uh, my pianist is actually London-based. She graduated from Royal Academy of okay. Music. And uh, she's called Elena Hale. We met in Manchester and we played at various concerts and occasions together. So um, he will be accompanying me, but for the second half, I'm also thinking about using some pre-recorded backing tracks to give more ambience and more orchestral feeling.